Hello and welcome back to Kino Plays Ori in the Blind Forest. Let's go. Uh, back to the, my death cycle. Oh crap! Yep, that's a that's the right start. Oh, oh. curiosity, is there anything up before I carry on trying to die? I mean, trying to make progress. <laughs> Nope. Mm. That was too slow of a reaction. And that was too short of a jump. Ah, no, nope, couldn't. Adding crushes to this is a, such a such a dick move. <laughs> Made it through there before. What am I doing? No, no, no. Mm. What am I doing wrong? Mm, that might make things a little easier. Just trick it into going without me. Or not. Ah, I didn't go far enough. <laughs> oh, I am so glad I'm not drinking. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, this is excellent. I made some progress now. <laughs> Oi, these rocks appear unstable. Through my light, we may be able to use them to stop the lava from spreading. Yeah, I've already done that where I did left hand side when I when I kind of sequence broke. Though, considering nothing was stopping me from going that way. Hmm. Thought you could hide that from me, did you? Wait, is that the last one I needed with those? Yeah, it is. So that's maximum energy now. Oh, crap. That would have been really stupid. And so very key now. Speaking of being very keen out.
Hmm, this is going to be a puzzle one, having to kill them in the correct order. Maybe not. Ah, <laughs> straight into the spikes. I mean that since that's the symbol for killing them all, I must have to kill I must have to kill them all. I just have to be careful about how I do it. Oh, just made that. I quite like that as a puzzle. Having to kill them all. Would have been very easy, easy to have keynoted that up. <laughs> now what are these? Okay, I can't attack them. And I can't boost off them. Guess they're just obstacles? Now that just gets destroyed. Nice. Two roots down, one to go. Next one is in two ability points. Okay, this is a classic puzzle. see any switches. Well, there was a switch, apart from the switch to turn on that puzzle bit.
<laughs> okay, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. Oh shit, then. Seem to be any secret things there. Now. Oh. <laughs> You're supposed to let go of that, not just slide down it. like ground to me. Uh, oh, wait, no. The... Oh. Grab that XP. I was supposed to go up, not down, that's why. How will I grab that? Can't really like that. Well, that's a dick move. <laughs> okay, not that way. <laughs> Use the beam from the other way, you jackass. Hmm. Okay. 
Not that way. Not that. Huh. Maybe I'm not supposed to. No, I've got to be able to mess with this. So, what am I doing wrong? I'm sure I'm supposed to move this with this ability, but it's... Because, I mean, I, I can't get past otherwise. Maybe if I... Okay, I can't throw that through. Now. Okay, so ground pound might be able to help. That'll be. Oh, no, it'll give me a platform to launch that up to, won't it? Hmm. <laughs> that didn't work. save again just in case since this doesn't seem to be particularly re why is that why is doing that killing me oh that backfired to do it from this side, but do what? I am such a friggin' moron. For some reason I didn't think I'd be able to grab it. 
Well, I didn't even think about being able to grab it. So I'll have to come back to collect that one. Uh, I better save. <laughs> Someone doesn't understand how pressure works. Oh. That didn't turn that off. Great. I'm gonna have to use skill that I don't have to do this. Nope. Ah. Welcome back, Tema. Really not sure how I'm supposed to do this to get that. launch me down there. I want to I want to throw this up so that I can then use it to bash past. I think I need to launch it up and then dash under it. But not do that. Now the question is, can I get back out? Nope. Not that time I couldn't. But that seems to be the way that will work, anyway. Ah, got stuck. <laughs> Why was that working the, for the other thing, but not for... Oh, I'm, I tried to launch it the wrong way, maybe. That's why. There we go. Oh, no, no.
Ah, well, now I've saved at every spirit portal. Snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. Looks like all I've missed is probably a single bit of XP somewhere. The element of warmth is within our grasp. With the elements restored, we could undo the effects of her wrath. Pissed. Okay. Um, ah, I guess I'm the worst to just run. <laughs> okay, just completely run, I guess. Just don't stop running. Okay, this is going to be a marathon of not fucking up. 
so this ain't gonna go well. <laughs> if we end up gaining over a hundred deaths just on this one section. <laughs> well, as long as I'm making stupid mistakes like that, there's a good chance of it. get me underwater, I guess. Oh, well, maybe not. No! Oh, I ran out! Yeah. Why did it suddenly stop sending me more rocks to jump off? Nope, nope. <laughs> Starting to think that 500 death count isn't going to be unreasonable, Neotoma. them to burn, though she vanquished my light. Ori, please get up. The spirit tree. So close, he's our only hope left. And I've just realized something. Because I triggered the cutscene on when going to the right of that of the volcano, but then I did the left without finishing the right first. I probably missed out missed on some story, didn't I? I bet if I'd done all the right first and then all the left, I would have gotten a second cutscene. Spirit tree, so close, he's our only hope left. Can't jump, can only move left and right. 
The spirit tree is near. There's one more step to take. The forest of Nibble will live once again. Kill yourself. Just jump to your death. It's the only way. I wasn't being serious. Don't do it. <laughs> Denied. Game over. <laughs> Such jumping. Amazing athleticism. Oi, bitch, leave me daughter alone. gonna save the forest then in order to save your kid. Even though I'm guessing that'll kill you. Yes, the bird just committed Sudoku. Poor bird. Pretty bad. Like I said in my drunken rambling the other day, I would take beautiful colours over realism any day of the week. It's just so much more visually interesting. immediately dies when Ori hugs it because of its phobia to the light. Oops! Well, oh. so that was Ori and the Blind Forest. Um, I really fucking enjoyed that. I mean, I, I love Metrovanias anyway, but I love the art, I love the music. Got mildly frustrated here and there at my own stupidity and insta deaths, but in the game's defense, no, there's no accounting for stupid. And it, it, it is on hard difficulty, so I'm taking a lot more damage than other people would if they were playing on easy or normal. I'm guessing that a lot of the things that were killing me in one hit, that were doing like three to six orbs of damage to me, they probably only do like one or two normally. 
so I made it harder on myself, but I always prefer to play games on hard mode. It's just if it's too if it's too easy, it's not as much fun. <laughs> I mean, you play, you play games to relieve tension, and for me, I, I know other people would say, but isn't it frustrating dying all that much? That yeah, but it's catharsis. The frustration you're feeling there is not the same as stress. And when you beat it, when you when you succeed at something that's been kicking your ass over and over, that sense of achievement and the instant relief you feel I think it's healthy for you I think it's it's the right way but that's me I'm a my mate my brain's messed up as it is and I, I look at things differently I mean I've got a lot of things wrong with me <laughs> some of it upbringing and down putting some of it from being born a month early. I mean, that's they think that's why I've got hearing problems, why probably why I've got some other sense problems. The color blindness is a genetic thing, unfortunately. Yeah, there are a lot of problems with me. Um, yeah. Overcoming hardship really is a really good feeling. And a lot of games do hold your hand too much these days. They don't tell you where to go, they give you checkpoints constantly. Whereas the way that Ori does it where you can have as many checkpoints as you want as long as you can find some energy. But it's up to you to place those checkpoints. And they only give you a few key checkpoints themselves after key things happen. So you can make the game as easy or as hard as you want, really. That's better. That's really good. Yeah, making enemies damage sponges is not making the game harder. It's making the game longer and more boring. Having mechanics to fights, that's more interesting. Thing, having an enemy that's really deadly, but if you can work out how it works, you can overcome it. That's better. It, that's a problem that Destiny has for me. I mean, I love Destiny 2, but Bullet Sponges is a big issue with that game that they really need to tone down. And they need to get give more ways of having the power fantasy going on in the game. Because the way it is, is that, yeah, I've, I've only got an Xbox. I haven't got a PS4 or... Uh, haven't got a PC that I can actually game on. I'm, frankly, I'm amazed at times that it even manages to handle the chat. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah, the, pro the problem with Destiny is the power scaling. If you're under light, you take a lot more, you can take a lot more damage. If you're over light, it doesn't matter, because it stops once you reach the same level as them. You you going above them doesn't make them any easier. But that's kind of something we want, Bungie. We want to be able to go back to areas that we had trouble with and, ab and just one-shot everything and trounce the things. Let us over-level th for things. But all, but all, but just as an option, as the base sort of thing, then you introduce the modifiers and the higher difficulties where you can change it and then you've still got the challenge. But don't make things bullet sponges. 
add more mechanics to it. Things that you have to think and beat, rather than just... Here I was ta taking three shots to kill something, now here I am taking 30 shots to kill something. That's, that's not fun. That's just frustrating. Well, I'm, well, I was supposed to have been talking about Ori. <laughs> what, I shouldn't have gotten distracted by that. Yeah, um, Ghost of Tsushima does look pretty damn cool. And I, I really, really wanted to play Bloodborne and Neo. Because, I mean, Bloodborne, I just like Souls likes and anyway, and... I quite like that gothic aesthetic they've got going on in Bloodborne. But Neo, oh, I really, really wanted to play Neo because I love Japanese mythology and the Oni and all of that stuff. And playing in a game where I've got all of that, that it looks so good to me. But it's PlayStation and PC only. They did not port it to Xbox. And as far as I'm aware, they're not going to port Neo 2 to Xbox either. So, I'm shit out of luck on that one. I do have um, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, though. I haven't gone around to playing it, and I will stream it, but I haven't. It's one you have to be in the right headspace for, because it's a Souls game. And there is no ranged fighting in there, as far as I'm aware. It's, it just looks really fun. So difficult, but I, I do want to play that. I do kind of want to go straight into Ori 2, but I would also like to give it a little breathing room and find something else to play in the meantime. Because, like, I still want to play through every Resident Evil game that is that I can play on the Xbox. But I was kind of getting burnt out on playing so many of them in a row as it was. So, I, so I'm taking a little break from that at the moment. I mean, I'd been on such a horror run as it was because I did all three of the Dead Space games and then I did... Um, Resident Evil 0, 3, and 4. So, kind of needed a break from it before I uh, replay Resident Evil 2, play Resident Evil 1 for probably the third time ever in my life, 5 for the second time, although I did play 5 a lot back when I had it on 360. Never played 6 outside of the demo. Played a lot of 7. 7 was really good. But, yeah, I'm not sure what game to play next at the moment. So, if you can look through that list of games I've got and find me something, <laughs> that'd be good. Or if you look on what games are available through um, games with gold or Game Pass Ultimate because I have both of those available. Got quite a few things there. Um, I have uninstalled Halo though. I did, it was taking up a huge amount of storage space and I decided I'm going to leave playing through all the Halo games until I'm on the Xbox Series X. I don't think I've removed any other games. I have added a couple here and there. But small ones like um, Carrion. Um, and, oh, yeah, I downloaded and I also downloaded and installed the first of the packy, the collections of the Kingdom Hearts games. So I could start Kingdom Hearts 1. That's an, that's an option there that I could play for you. If you've got any interest in the Kingdom Hearts games.
My only person, personally, my only issue with the Kingdom Hearts games is that when I was watching Team Four Style play through them, they look very slow for the combat. They seem like very slow and deliberate games. They don't. There's not a lot of reaction to it, if that makes sense. I mean, they look really interesting. I, d I do want to play through them. And with Game Pass, I have access to every single... Well, not every single one, because there are mobile games and DS games and all sorts of things that you only have access to some of the videos of. But I've got... But I've got the the story so far collection available, basically. And Kingdom Hearts 3. So... I've got plenty of choices there. I just wish that I could exit the game and keep streaming, but if I leave the game, that's the stream over. It, it'll just go to that um, weird purpley screen thing that it does whenever the game when that you see whenever the game crashes. I can't go to the desktop and stream the desktop so that I can show you show you what games I've got and and things like that. There are serious, serious limitations to streaming directly from the console to tr to Twitch. But yeah, I haven't got a PC that c that could even handle streaming, even if I had a capture card, which I don't. So. I am stuck with what I've got, unfortunately. <sighs> so, yeah, um, I guess I'll call the stream here and carry on chatting to you on Telegram then. <laughs> uh, I don't even remember if I've done my outro yet or not, or, or did I do the outro and then start chatting or not? Well, just in case, this has been Kino Plays Ori in the Blind Forest. <laughs> New episodes upload to YouTube at 9pm UK time. Thank you for joining me, take care, and goodbye. <laughs>